move to far to the east, to, to, to Beijing, when Abdulaziz just said Saudi Arabia has condemned the Turkish incursion. China doesn't seem to condemn anything, just looking at the situation and enjoying it, I don't know. But um, th th there are no real statements on Yemen, no real statements on the Turkish incursion into Syria. And China seems to wait until opportunities open itself for both economic and more and more of also political and security engagement throughout the region. Economic definitely in Syria and Iraq, security engagement with the UN in, uh, in Sudan, South Sudan, for example. So does China have some ideas of its own and does it want to launch any, in, any initiatives of its own to solve any of the conflicts we have been talking about here? <coughs> I only to express my personal views. Uh, by my observation, I believe China is clo closely watch the whole Middle East and pay attention to the situation, changing situation in Middle East. Uh, today, my main argument is that uh, there will be emergence of a situation of Dedan in Middle East. Uh, the reason, even though now the currently uh, in international community focused on the Turkish operation in northern Syria, and uh, which trigger off the various uh, response towards this incident, uh, but I think the general trend, there will be the trend of the down in the very near future in Middle East. The reason are as follows. First, United States is the first player actor in Middle East. But let's give a very careful and a close look at the behavior of the Trump administration. What Mr. Trump wants to do, or what's his priorities, domestically and internationally? Domestically, I think the top priority for Mr. Trump is to win the election of next year. And globally speaking, I think Mr. Trump's attention mainly focused on China. So if his international agenda is focused on China, that means United States should concentrate enough and necessary resources to deal with China. So, Let's look at Middle East. I, I believe the resources of United at the U.S. disposal is limited. If United States wants to concentrate resources to deal with China, that means United States has to maintain its interest in Middle East at the lowest cost. Excuse me, um, we are all good at analyzing the United States. But I, we, I, I, we I are going to analyze the other actors. We are actually uh, interested in learning about the Chinese priorities. I will, Chinese I, will, I will present the Chinese position later on. Uh, so Don't take too long to, oh, to okay, come okay. to the Chinese uh, priorities, no. please. Secondly, uh, the, uh, uh, since the United States wants to keep the stability of this regional alliance at the lowest cost, to safeguard the U.S. interests at the lowest cost, that means the United States right now cannot do big things in the Middle East. Even though the United States cannot do big things in the Middle East, that means the United Regional Alliance also cannot do big things because they hope the United States to take the lead to take the leadership and to uh, contribute more resources. So this is point one. Let's look at Russia. 
No, Plus, let's look at China, please. <laughs> I mean, I, you, you, you must admit, I squeezed oh, okay, no, no, let me summarize. I let me summarize. Since you, you don't allow me to extend my, my argument, so let me summarize uh, in one word. Various stakeholders in Middle East, they are all tired, even to some extent. They are exhausted, okay, got exhausted. Russia, United States, Saudi Arabia, Iran, and even Turkey. So they, I think to generalize their wishes as to at least not let the current tension to be get further escalated. So that's uh, laid down a, a great foundation for the situation with the Dan. So my recommendations for world policy conference is that international community should catch up this opportunity of the down to firstly to hammer out a security framework in Gulf region, in Middle East. Maybe can organize certain kinds of international conference to deplore the possibility and the feasibility of how to let this region more stable, more peaceful. And the second, international community and regional countries should focus on the fight against international terrorism and religious extremism and uh, also ethnic separatism. And thirdly, I think the general key to address the regional peace, stability, and the development is development, is the regional and the trans-regional cooperation. In this regard, China wants to uh, offer its contribution to that within the framework of Belt and Road initiatives and with its cooperation with all Middle East countries. The reality is that China, in fact, keep good relations with all Middle East countries including Turkey, including Saudi Arabia, including Israel, and Iran. Of course, of course, we keep very good relations with all Middle East countries. That, I think, is a, a better conditions to have a, a cooperation with all Middle East countries. And uh, so uh, I, I, I think Chinese position uh, towards the Middle East already Illustrated very clear, clearly by President Xi Jinping during his visit in Egypt in the, and his speech in the uh, headquarters of our league. That is three no's. China seeks, seeks no proxy in the Middle East, not to seek field power vacuum, vacuum and uh, not seek regime change rather than we uh, persist in our traditional policy, non-interference in other countries' internal affairs. Also, we call for United Nations to take, play a leading role to address peace, stability, and development issues in the Middle East. We also very uh, strongly support the Palestinian cause and support the two-state uh, solution based on relevant UN uh, Security Council resolutions and uh, with the border before the 1967 war and uh, with Eastern Jerusalem as the capital of a Palestinian state. So we support the Arab Peace Initiative led by Saudi Arabia. We also highly appreciate Saudi Arabia and uh, Arab League's response to the recent, uh, I mean, the so-called deal of century and uh, Arab positions and Arab Saudi Arabia positions. So this, uh, very, very okay. short summarize. Thank you very Thank much you. for laying that out. <laughs>